Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. I'm Laya. I'm an accessible yoga educator as well as a slow and creative living advocate. So for me, it's all about taking care of yourself in any way that works for you. I'm just here to inspire and give you suggestions. What you do in the 30 minutes that we'll be together today is absolutely up to you. I've been trying to do a 30 minute class because I think that that fits into a lot of people's schedule better than an hour session. The intention is to take care of yourself, listen to yourself so that you can have a better sense of how you feel today, whatever time of day it is. So use this as a check in. How am I feeling? What do I need? How could I shift for the rest of my day to truly take care of myself and embody my values. Let's take some time to gather anything that we may need for the practice. First, your precious self. That's the only thing that you actually need. Everything else is secondary. However, I do have a yoga mat and two blocks as well as a little bit of water because it's good to stay hydrated. If you don't have blocks, that's absolutely fine. You could substitute them with canned goods or if there's a wall near you, oftentimes it does the same. Have something to give you support and to elevate the ground up to you. Today, I was just digging through earrings. I was like, oh yeah, it's a day for these. They haven't come out in a while. So I'm glad that you noticed. <laughs> Take a moment to bring yourself to a comfortable seat. You could sit cross-legged. You could grab a block and perhaps sit on it or a cushion or a pillow. You could also choose to lie down for a few moments as we settle into the practice. Take a moment to wiggle anything that needs wiggling, fingers, toes, your neck. Roll your shoulders and take a moment to move your neck and look around the room that you're in or the space that you're in, whether you're indoors or outdoors. Becoming aware of the shapes, the colors, the textures. And eventually bringing your neck back to neutral as you soften your gaze down or perhaps you choose to close your eyes. Let yourself hear the sounds around you. Of nature, of people, of life happening. And maybe let yourself notice how you can simply be the witness without having to get too involved in where the sounds are coming from. Just letting yourself observe what's happening. Take a deep breath in through your nose, filling your belly, your rib cage, your chest. Hold at the top. Open your mouth and let it go. Notice your body perhaps softening a little bit more into the surface beneath you. Become aware of the temperature of your surroundings, but also the temperature of your physical body. Perhaps there's a hand that feels a little bit cooler or a finger or the tip of your nose. Truly let yourself observe whatever you can observe. Inhale deeply through your nose, filling up front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Side out. Soften a little bit more, even if it's just 1%. And as you start to become aware of your physical body, notice other sensations. Of course, you may become aware of tightness, discomfort, even painful areas. But do you also have the capacity to perhaps observe, even if it's just one part of you that feels open or relaxed or comfortable to be in? Take 
Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Fill up your entire body, your belly, your rib cage, your chest. Side out. Notice what you notice as you arrive into your practice today. What kind of chatter is your mind engaging in? Whether if it's about how you feel or what's going on around you. Perhaps you observe your mind wandering away toward regrets of the past or worries of the future. But can you also observe those moments when you are right here, right now, nudged right in between it all, as you simply inhale and exhale? One more breath here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your nose or your mouth, softening the body a bit more. If it resonates with you, perhaps you bring one hand to your abdomen and the other hand to your heart. And I invite you, as you consider how you feel in your body, in your mind, and perhaps in your energy, to set an intention, maybe for your day, maybe just for this practice, maybe for the week, whatever serves you knowing that you can change your mind at any point. Deep inhale. And exhale. What can I embrace a little bit more right now? Or what can I release a little bit right now? Even if it's just for the next breath. Deep inhale. And exhale. Release your hands back down. Ground through your sitting bones. Lengthen all the way through the crown of the head. Allow your eyes to remain closed or feel free to start to blink them open slowly. And on your next inhalation, start to reach your arms out and up. Perhaps your gaze follows. Unite your palms overhead. And on your exhalation, draw the fingertips and the hands all the way back in front of the heart. Notice your shoulders relax. Notice your fingertips connected. Inhale, take your arms out to the side. Perhaps your elbows reach slightly back as you lift your chest. And on your exhalation, take both arms forward. Let your back round and look down. Let your hands connect again. And on your inhalation, keeping your hands together, take them straight up and overhead. And as you exhale again, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Open your arms wide as you breathe in. Lift your chest a little. Breathe out, take your arms forward, round your back. Fingertips connect, gaze down. Keep your hands connected, arms straight up. Keep your elbows as bent as you want. Inhale. Exhale, draw your hands in front of your heart. Allow them to remain here this time. Notice the energy rising and falling, expanding and contracting, ebbing and flowing. One more, inhale, exhale. Release your arms, take them out to the sides, lift your chest, breathe in. And as you breathe out, take your right arm over the left, give yourself a little hug, maybe move side to side. Pause at the center again, inhale, take your arms out, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, take the opposite arm over and give yourself a little hug, maybe sway a little side to side. Consider how can I love myself right now just a bit more, even if it's by just giving myself this hug. Open your arms out, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor behind you, lean back a little and bring your feet in front. If you're sitting on something, perhaps you move it to the side, perhaps not. It, just, it really depends on um, your anatomy and what's comfortable for you. And just bring your feet a little bit wider than your hips and let your knees for a moment move from side to side. For some of us, keeping the hands behind is what's best. If you want to start to activate the core, you could play with leaning a little bit more forward, but not much, and taking your hands off the ground and letting the arms kind of go opposite of the knees. But again, that's one way, but the other way is to keep your hands on the ground. 
One's not better than the other. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Pause at the center and start to bring yourself toward hands and knees, stable top position, where you can absolutely bring a blanket underneath your knees if they feel a little bit uncomfortable. Or if you don't have a blanket, you could use a towel or you could pinch your mat, double fold it, and then bring your knees there. And for many people, that's enough to bring your knees a little bit more comfort. Allow your hands to uh, remain underneath your shoulders or make fists, whatever works for you best. And then bring your knees about hip distance apart and give yourself a moment here to move your hips a little side to side, mobilize the spine, mobilize the neck. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, pause at the center here. And then on your inhalation, sort of bring your big toes to touch, separate your knees and send your hips back toward the heels only as much as you wanna go. There might be a point where you grab one of your blocks and rest your forehead down. And maybe your hips are floating here or perhaps they find your heels and your forehead could rest on a block or the ground. And you could remain in stillness or perhaps you start to wiggle yourself from side to side as you breathe in and out. Couple more breaths here. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Slowly press yourself up. Bring yourself back to your tabletop. And on your inhalation, take your right leg behind you. Your toes could be on the ground or lift up. Exhale, bring your right knee toward your chest. So again, if your toes are on the ground, you can kind of drag your toes, right knee toward the right elbow rather. So open it out to the right just a bit. And then send your right leg back again. Inhale. Exhale, lower your right knee next to your left. Come back to your tabletop, move side to side. Breathe in and breathe out. Extend your left leg behind you this time, toes on the ground or floating. Inhale to engage your core. Exhale, draw your left knee to your left elbow. With your toes floating or not, it's up to you. And on your inhalation again, extend your left leg back. Exhale, lower your left knee next to the right. Now move your knees slightly back, shift your weight slightly forward, bring yourself to a knee plank. Rotate your inner elbows forwards, inhale. And on your exhalation, very slowly let your body lower down toward the earth, keeping your hands underneath your shoulders as you point your toes back. Squeeze your elbows toward the sides of the rib cage. Press through the front of the body and through your hands. And on your inhalation, slowly lift your chest. You don't have to go very high. Notice if your elbows wing out, draw them back in. And on your exhalation, slowly lower yourself back down. Again, inhale, slowly lift as little or as much as you want keeping your elbows bent and drawing them toward the side of the body. And on your exhalation, lower down. One more, inhale, slowly lift. Exhale, this time press your hips back. Bring yourself back to the tabletop by walking the hands back or keep the hands where they are. Tuck your toes back and send your hips back. Now you could stay here with your knees on the ground or perhaps your knees lift up and your hips go up and back and you find yourself toward downward facing dog, this inverted V position. Take three breaths wherever you choose to go, noticing the hands firmly planted, the length of the arms, the side body, all the way to the hips. One more breath, inhale and exhale. On your inhalation, ripple your body forward. Whether your knees are down or not is up to you. Find a plank or a knee plank, inhale. Exhale. Now shift your weight toward your left leg. Again, your left knee could be down. And on your inhalation, take your right knee to your right elbow. And as you exhale, right leg back. So you find yourself in a plank or a knee plank. And as you inhale, your left leg floats. And as you exhale, your left knee goes to your left elbow. Left, left, left leg back. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin to the floor. Slide down until your belly finds the earth, hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest for a cobra. Exhale, take your hips back for a tabletop, or if you rather, take your hips up and back for a downward dog. One purposeful cycle of breath here, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose or the mouth. 
gaze forward toward the top of your mat, whether your knees are down or not, and make your way to the top of the mat. For some folks, it may mean taking a few steps. For some folks, it's a few hops. For some folks, it's one big step. It's up to you. Bring your hands to your blocks or to the ground or to your shins. And on your inhalation, lengthen through your spine. And as you exhale, let yourself fold as your knees soften down and your belly rests towards your thighs. Let yourself sway side to side for a moment. Perhaps taking a moment to shake your head yes so that you truly know what yes looks like and feels like for you. Maybe even you say yes. And then shake your head no. Maybe you say no. And like really say no. It's hard to say no sometimes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stop the movement of the head. Press through your feet and on your inhalation, rise up. Let your arms go out to the sides and all the way up. Unite your palms overhead, maybe gaze up. And on your exhalation, draw your hands together in front of your heart and then release them next to your body to come into mountain pose. Let yourself sway back and forth for a moment if that feels good. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale and exhale. Sweep your arms out and up. Perhaps your gaze follows. Breathe in. Breathe out. Draw your hands united through the midline as you bend your knees and fold forward. Take your hands to your blocks or to the floor. Relax your head all the way down. Inhale. Lift your chest. Now frame your right foot with your blocks or your hands and step your left foot back. Pivot your left heel to the ground pressing down through the outer edge of your left foot, and then draw your right hip back toward the left heel as well so that it's not popping out to the right. Press down through both feet, engage your core, and you could absolutely stay here. Or perhaps on your inhalation, you rise up and you cartwheel your arms up and around, finding yourself in warrior two. Inhale here, and on your exhalation, maybe bend into the front knee just a bit more if what you're seeking is more strength. Otherwise, stay where you are. Notice what gives you, what aligns you with your intention. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to your blocks or the floor, square your hips, breathe in. And as you breathe out, take one step or several to let your left foot meet the right at the top of the mat. Flat back to inhale, fold to exhale. On your next inhalation, rise up, stretch, reach. And on your exhalation, let yourself fold forwards again, following the ebb and flow of the breath. Inhale to lengthen, frame your left foot this time. Exhale, step your right foot back. Pivot your right heel to the ground, press down through the outer edge of your right foot and draw your left hip back toward the right heel. Notice what arises here. And once you find your breath, you can choose to stay or on your inhalation, rise up, taking your right arm back and your left arm forward. Inhale. Exhale, settle into Vida Badrasana 2, Warrior 2. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Cartwheel your hands back down, square your hips. Inhale. And on your exhalation, maybe one big step forward or several. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold. Rise up, inhale, take both arms out and up, stretch. This time as you exhale, take your hands toward opposite wrists or top opposite elbows. Maybe press your hips a little bit forward as you open up to the front body a bit more, breathe in. And as you breathe out, release your arms next to your body. Take a moment to roll your shoulders. First one way and then the other. And on your inhalation, ground through both feet, reach your arms up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand, press down through your feet, lengthen through your arms, inhale. And on your exhalation, send your hips a little bit to the left and your arms to the right. Perhaps your gaze goes to the left as well. Come back to center as you inhale, switch wrists, find length. And on your exhalation, press through the feet evenly as you take the stretch to the other side. You don't have to go very far. Notice if you collapse a lot into the side of the rib cage, rise away from it a bit more. Back to center as you inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips and start to heel toe your feet out or hop if you feel like hopping. Yeah, until your feet 
a little bit wider than your hips and allow your toes to turn gently out. They don't have to go very far out. Press down through your feet, engage your legs, inhale, and on your exhalation, start to bend your knees as little or as much as you want. You don't have to go very deep. You can let your hands rest on your thighs if you want to, and maybe you let yourself wiggle a little side to side. And then pause at the center, and as you inhale, extend your legs, extend your arms, palms unite overhead. And as you exhale, open your arms again, turn your right toes forward, Perhaps angle your left toes a little bit and bend your right knee again to find your warrior two. Send your left arm in front of you toward your right hip and on your inhalation, send your right arm up. Exhale, lean away and back. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Bring your arms back to the horizon, extend your right leg, breathe in. And as you breathe out, turn back toward the long side of the mat, hands to your hips, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. Maybe you stay here or your hands come to your thighs. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, perhaps one shoulder drops forward. And you gaze to the side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, switch. Come back through center. Extend your arms, extend your legs. Inhale. Exhale, turn your left toes to the back of the mat. Angle your right toes until you find the alignment that works for you. Inhale, lengthen a bit more. Exhale, bend your left knee and open your arms to the horizon for warrior two. Send your right arm in front of you. Perhaps you let it rest on your left hip. And then on your inhalation, send your left arm up. Exhale, lean away from your left leg, keeping the bend in the knee. One more breath wherever you are. And then slowly, arms to the horizon. Inhale, extend your left leg. Turn all 10 toes forward this time. All the toes turn forward. Hands to your hips, or perhaps you bring them behind your back. You could interlace your hands or rest your hands on your low back. Wherever you are, draw your elbows toward each other. Lift your chest, breathe in. And as you breathe out, lower halfway. Chest parallel to the floor. Stay here, maybe open out through your arms. Take a moment to notice the extension and the expansion. Inhale. And as you exhale, continue to fold. Maybe your hands find a block or the floor, or if you chose to keep them behind your back, they could stay hands resting on your low back or hands interlaced. Close to your low back or away from it. Wherever you are, breathe. More and more breath. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhalation, lift your chest halfway. Start to heel toe your feet toward one another. And then eventually start to bring yourself to a toe stand. So you could keep your feet parallel to one another and knees forward. You could choose to also keep your knees wide. And here's where you can get a little bit playful and maybe move a little side to side with your hands on your blocks or the floor or with your hands floating. You could also keep your knees in front, blocks on the sides. You could play with lifting your arms. This is also a great place to play with closing your eyeballs and seeing what happens. And if you fall, that's okay. You've fallen before in other things in life. And most of the time, you get back up. So breathe. One more inhale. And on your exhalation now, let yourself either plop down or very gracefully come down, whatever you rather. Give your knees a little hug. Give yourself a little sway. And start to slide your left leg under the right. Your right foot could remain in front of the shin or across the left knee. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. And as you breathe out, give yourself a little twist toward the right. You don't have to go very far. Notice your sitting bones grounded, your spine long. Your breath steady and full. One more inhale. And exhale. Come back through center. Switch sides, so unravel the legs. This time, right leg slides underneath the left. Left foot in front of the right shin or across the right knee. Ground down through your sitting bones. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. And on your exhalation, wrap your right arm around the left leg and give yourself a little twist. Or a deep twist, doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. Just make sure that you're breathing fully. 
and that whatever choice you're making in this pose aligns with your intention as little or as much as you want to. One more breath wherever you are. Inhale and exhale. Come back through center and cross the leg. Give yourself a little hug. You can bring your feet as wide or as narrow as you want. Sway side to side. Breathe in and breathe out. Now you can choose here to draw the soles of the feet toward one another, which doesn't mean they have to touch, they could be apart, and then allow your knees to go wide and then fold forward. Or if like myself, you rather do something that's more neutral for the hips, you could extend your legs in front and maybe put a block underneath the knees to keep them softer or a blanket or a pillow. And then either way, on your inhalation, lengthen your spine and on the exhalation, let yourself fold. But if your back rounds here, let it round. You could also use props to elevate the legs up to you so that eventually you can rest your forehead on something. But it's not necessary. The idea is, can you soften here? Notice your breath. Notice the energy flowing through. One more breath here. And then slowly lifting yourself back up. Now, if you have a little bit of extra time, I invite you to lay down. Also, if what you're seeking is more grounding and more gentleness, I invite you to lay down. If you're ready to get going almost, perhaps you sit. Just consider what energy you're trying to embrace for the last few moments of our practice today. But either way, let yourself settle into stillness. Recognizing the effects of this practice, no matter how minute the shift may be. Letting your heart beat settle. Letting your breath and your mind settle. Inviting a sense of ease and presence. Recognizing that you can choose to be right here, right now. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Filling your entire body, perhaps deepest breath you've taken all day. Inside out. Start to move your body once again. Wiggling fingers, perhaps your toes. Move your neck, roll your shoulders, stretch, yawn, whatever you need. Eventually bringing yourself to a seat if you're not already there. And we'll just take a moment to close the container. So I invite you to once again, maybe bring one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your heart. And just take a moment to recognize the simple fact that you are breathing, that you are alive. Repeat within, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I invite you to consider that the next breath, the next hour, the next day, the next week, it is your time to choose how to live your life and to live it fully. May you not take a single breath for granted. Inhale deeply. And let go. And once you feel complete, you can release your hands. You can open your eyes once again. And slowly return 
to your day. I hope that you've enjoyed this practice and that you feel maybe more present, maybe more energized. Thank you. Even online, there's a synergy that's created because we know we're sharing this space and it's just beautiful. And again, I, I also love the fact, and this is what I love about online, that for people that do have the feeling that they're being judged by others when they go into physical spaces, this kind of removes that layer and you can truly do what you want in your practice, you know? And not care if someone else next to you is doing a headstand, like good for them. And I'm over here in my child's pose, super happy and I have 16 props around me and my practice is just as valid. I think it's beautiful to be still able to be in community and at the same time in the safety of our own home because for some folks that's super important. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope that you have a lovely rest of your week wherever you may be in the world. I look forward to seeing you again in either a productivity session this week or for practice again, same time, same place next week. Be well. Bye everybody.